Hello friends, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your queen, it's your lady, it's your girl, La V at La Belle V channel, the beautiful life channel. In today's topic, we're going to be talking about something from the African perspective. Today's question is, are you the main chick or are you the booty call? Who is a main chick? A main chick is a lady whom a guy is dating exclusively. And a booty call is every other situation ship that has to do with not being the main chick. That is the definition from the African perspective. Generally, a booty call is, when you hear the word booty, it means the behind part of a female. And when you hear the word call, it means every other call that has to do with whether calling or texting or any other arrangement that has to do with meeting up with someone to go under the sheets. So from the African perspective, we're not going to take this definition, but we're going to extend this definition to every other situation shape that has to do with not being the main chick. So how do you know you're the main chick or the booty call? First of all, he calls you up whenever he's lonely, whenever he is drunk, or whenever he is in emotional need. And then he calls you up to, you know, come over at my home, you know, let's watch a movie, you know, let's have a drink, let's share a drink. At the end of the day, you two go under the sheets and then he drops you off in the middle of the night, maybe 2 a.m., before everyone around him wakes up to see your face at his home. Then you're definitely the booty call. This is a booty call. The main chick is somewhere and he doesn't want his neighbors to see you because he knows that whenever the main chick shows up, those neighbors are going to tell her about you and there's going to be a fight. So you are the booty call. The second type of booty call I'm going to be talking about is the booty call where he tells you he doesn't want a relationship because of some kind of sorry ass story and then every time you hang out and then you know he never takes you to his place you don't know his friends you've never slept in his place for at most three times in a week and then every time he calls you it's to meet up and go under the sheets then you are the booty call no matter how you struggle, no matter whatever you do to make sure that this relationship works, he has put you in the booty call circle and the main chick is somewhere. His game is to make sure the main chick never meets you. His game is to make sure he continues to acquire whatever he needs from you that his main chick is not giving him. So at the end of the day, you are the booty call. That whereby a married man comes to you and tells you, oh yeah, I am married, but I'm separated from my wife and my kids. My wife or my kids are somewhere. Or maybe he even kills his wife who is not actually dead so that he gets to you and has you besides him. The truth is, as long as that married man is not legally divorced from his wife, you are the booty call. You can have as much as 10 kids with him, but as long as you are not the main wife, you are the booty call. And not being the wife, whenever the situation he has with his wife is fixed in his family, which you're not a family member of, your sorry ass will be put away. And at the end of the day, all of your efforts and energy will be put to zero because all along you have been the booty call the side chick not the main chick the fourth type of booty call i'm gonna be talking about from the african perspective is where he pays your rents he takes care of your monthly allowance he buys you whatever but the truth is how many times does he sleep in the house where he pays the rents? He only comes to your house whenever you cook a delicious dish and he has to come over to eat that dish. But he never sleeps over for at least once or at most twice. 
definitely whenever he's through with you he has to run back to his family before his wife notices that he keeps late nights so definitely you are the booty call no matter how much money he's spending on you the fact is the money he spends on you is part of the money assigned for his personal fun time you are just the money he is using in order to satisfy a need in him which you are giving to him so at the end of the day you are the booty call that's who you are to him the fourth type of booty call i'm going to be talking about from the african perspective is a type of booty call whereby he takes you out of the country he flies you to wherever and takes you to the most expensive places, you know, spends time with you, you know, from one fun place to the other, goes to bars, goes to nightclubs with you, you know, goes to parties with you. But you don't know any of his friends, nor do you know even one of his family members. And even if you know his family members, they know that you're just his booty call. Because they know that the main chick is there. At the end of the day, once the main chick knows about this, you are going to know that you are the booty call and all the times you've spent with this person will be for nothing because he's going to let go of you and go to his wife or his main chick whom you are not. You are just a sport in his life he's trying to use for his personal fun. So, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of this video. I will be doing a part two of this video, which is from the male perspective, because the aspect of booty call, the whole ideology of booty call in today's world is not just a male thing, but so many ladies are beginning to get into this whole ideology of booty call and they're actually doing it. So the part two of this video is going to be about, are you her main man? Are you her booty call or are you her main man? So, ladies and gentlemen, take a rendezvous with me on part two of this video as we're going to talk about another perspective. Are you the side cock, the booty call, or are you the main cock? This is from a male perspective. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you found yourself in any of these situations and how you walked your way through it. So ladies, it is best for a gentleman to let you know that they are polygamous in nature than to lead you into a make-believe monogamous situation where you end up being a booty call. <laughs>